Yeah, this, because when, when we're going back at the other steps, France, Berlin, uh, yeah. Brighton, you were born in, uh, let me see, Huntingdon. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, when we take that steps back, are we getting get closer to your roots? Like, what, what, what are your roots for your yeah. feeling at the moment? Is that Huntington where you're born? Mm. Well, I suppose, you know, well, it's funny actually because I don't really know. I think you know that feeling of coming home sometimes, you know, when you just, clearly it's not in Asia. You know, you can say where it's not, perhaps easier than you can say where it is. In Europe, I find I'm, I feel quite at home just in general because of the climate, actually. You don't, you know? you don't like uh, the, the hot sun? I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it makes me feel at home to know the seasons as I grew up with them for all those years of my life. You know, So when I feel a day like this, people from another part of the world would see it and feel it totally differently. Yeah. You know? For me, it just represents all those days at school when we had to wait you know, in the rain or, you know, go and play football outside and it was raining and, you know, all the things that happen to you as a kid and the kind of seasons you get used to them and it becomes the, the thing that shapes you. So from the climate to, yeah, looking at the landscape of where I was born and going back there, I lived there for a long time too. So the area where I was born was where I lived for like 20 years almost. Eight, 17 years basically so sure that f that's the place I've spent the most time I mean and most of your important like uh, understanding of the world and your fundamental psychology seems to be in the first few years of your life so I can assume that perhaps like that that represents some kind of emotional roots psychological roots and 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 yeah the surroundings were you know always the same so brings it all back somehow. But I don't know, I've, I'm in that moment at the moment, like I'm saying, like I'm open. I'm open to the idea that Roots is really a people thing, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you see now, you're very relaxed and calm, but uh, at some other times, uh, when I see a video interview with you, you're really hectic and crazy mm. and outgoing stuff. And, <laughs> and uh, with your last record, Jim, you introduced your alter ego, Jim. Mm. And, uh, but are there more alter mm. egos of you that... I mean, yeah, I, you can, yeah, I think that question could be turned to, to anyone, you know, any living human. <laughs> you know, it's like the kind of me that will be introduced to a stranger's family members, grandma, for example, so you or you know, some old relatives of yours who walked in, I would be like a certain person, you know. I would be respectful in the way that I am to like the older generation. If like a couple of kids were running now and they needed attention, we would have to change our mood maybe. I mean, we shadow other people that we're with and we you know, everything affects us so I mean, that makes us lots of people, you know just naturally, just because the world calls for it. So yeah, definitely I'm lots of people. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be impossible to be anything other than that. Not that I'm not schizophrenic, even though I've claimed it myself just for some kind of poetic effect. You know, I'm, I feel really sad for people who are truly schizophrenic. That must be pretty awful. But um, you know, the stage is the stage, you know, and it's a strange, mm. unique place where you can play out things. I, I grew up listening to Prince, you know, David Bowie, like people who use the stage as a way to have a fantasy land in a way, use music as a fantasy in a way, you know. And why not, you know? It's such a vast thing, it's pointless to say that I just want to do this, as far as I'm concerned. Like the song I did this morning, I was singing, you know, in a totally different style to the way I was singing on Jim, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just like Bowie sang different on, you know, Hunky Dory and Heroes, you know. Still, I mean, not that I'm Bowie or anything, but it's just like those are my, those are my influences in a way. Just to see that you can mutate and change is a really healthy thing. You know, Beck is a big influence, and you know. Yeah, yeah, because when I.